Professor Levis suggested that teachers should teach fluency and accuracy in separate tasks. He also pointed out that there's a need to be patient because automaticity comes with practice, little by little. By automaticity, he means the ability to speak fluently by accessing language that's also correct. This happens little by little over time. When we think about speaking tasks, we might look at a design, something like a cycle, where the speaking task focus during the gradual process of developing oral communication skills would change with each task. Students might start with a planning task where they're thinking about what they're going to talk about. They might be searching for information to use in speaking. They might use some of the communication tools that we looked at that would allow them to get help with pronunciation. So all of this is planning, and planning has been found to be useful for helping students to develop their accuracy. The next task might be an accuracy-focused task, where the student is required to present something. In this task, there's time for rehearsal of the presentation, and the accuracy is important in the evaluation of the speaking task. At that point, the student is ready to have error correction because the focus is on accuracy. So the speaking might interrupted to correct errors as the task moves to include error correction. From there, the students might have developed some new language skills and some new language knowledge, and they might be ready for a fluency-oriented task. A fluency-oriented task would allow the students to speak freely without stopping and correcting errors, without focus on accuracy. In a fluency-based task, the focus is on the meaning of what's being said exclusively, and the students are pushed simply to maintain their fluency so, so that they can keep talking. This cycle can be used with different types of tasks throughout the de development of the speaking process. As students move to be able to talk about one topic and then another topic, they would work through tasks that focus alternatively on planning, accuracy, error correction, and fluency. Professor Levis emphasized that accented speech is not considered a problem in teaching speaking. So teaching should really focus on comprehensibility. Can the student be understood? When teachers correct errors, there are lots of errors to choose from, and so teachers should focus on those that are actually a problem for comprehensibility, without trying to reach a goal of native-like pronunciation. The goal for speaking instruction should be comprehensibility, rather than native-like pronunciation. How can technology help? Well, there are lots of technologies that are available to help with oral language, and we talked about some of those last time. But specifically, as we focus on speaking, there are tools for listening to pronunciation of words and connected speech. There are audio chat tools for collaborative work, for example, discussion of a topic before presenting as a group. There are tools for creating presentations, there are sites with good pronunciation help and conversation partners. There are conversation groups that can be formed a common interest and within the class, within language learning sites on the web, or within fan fiction sites. Let's see how one teacher uses tools for listening to teach pronunciation in the classroom.